Nice yeah. to meet you again tonight yeah. after so many years. It's been a few years now. Yeah, I think like four, five. Yeah. And I saw you last in Munich. Yeah. How do I look? Excellent. Better than ever, actually. So do you. Like very, very <laughs> young and very. Oh, yes. Like, like yes. nothing ever changed. That's right. Tell us a little bit about this event tonight and. What's the goals and well this is a this is a nice uh, concert tonight. It's part of a jazz festival that they have here. I cannot pronounce the name of the city. How is it? What what is it? Schwedish Hall. Schwedish Hall. That's not, not even gonna try. Say. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But the, but what's nice, the first thing is this is a beautiful city. I imagine it looks like it was uh, this is kind of a city out of the um, middle ages, middle age, yeah, yeah Very you know, old beautiful, historic. beautiful, yeah. and um, I read a little bit about the city there. Big thing, salt. Yeah, they, they made a lot of salt here, and, uh, and so it's a re really great place. And so we have a concert tonight. It's a kind of a small concert setting, beautiful hall, and um, we're probably going to play mainly acoustic music here because it's quiet. That's beautiful. Uh, and. Um, and it's nice. I mean, we've been touring. Um, we toured a lot last year. We're just actually getting started this year. It was January, February. There wasn't too much action. Right. Now it's just starting. And so I think for this year, it's going. we're going to tour not as much as last year. Last year was like... Crazy. On and off, on and off, yeah. everywhere. But, I, I, but, I, but I, I really liked it because the, right. the concerts were really good. There were a lot of places we went to that I... I hadn't been to in a long time, and, right. uh, and so it was really nice. And my young band, they're growing up, you know, I've had these guys with me for maybe a little over three years. The drummer just turned 21, so he's a man now. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and the piano player, uh, uh, Becca Gocciashevili from the country of Georgia, he just turned 20. It's all about the same age, huh? Yeah, and then the oldest guy is a keyboard player. He's like 30. Oh, okay. And then I'm 15, so, you know. Right? It's just perfect. So everybody's <laughs> about the same age. So tell us a little bit more about your your team and what are you doing and how, how are you seeing them in the future? Well, it's very nice. You know, you know I, always, I always encourage young musicians to particularly if they're instrumental musicians, like jazz musicians, I encourage them to make their own records. Because to make a name for yourself as an instrumentalist, you really have to strike out on your own, you know? Right. And, um, and so they're gonna do that. Like the Becca made a record for my label, which was very nice. Okay. And Mike Mitchell, the drummer, he's made a record for himself. And the other guy, his name is Cameron Graves, he's a keyboard player. He's an excellent solo pianist. Right. So we have plans for him to make over the next two years to make three piano solo records. That's very cool. Yeah. I so, love her too. Mm. Yeah. So you keep yourself busy always. Yeah. Yeah. We just finished recording. We were in, let's see, we started out, uh, where were we? Um, it's all running together, but we ended up in Brussels, and we stayed a week in Brussels and and recorded a live uh, and a, a in studio record. It was, okay, it was nice. We spent six days there, and that was really nice. I have a friend that has a studio there and apartments. He has this big right. complex, so we didn't leave. Okay, we had a cook there and the whole thing, and wow. we just we had a good time. Full service. Hmm. Full service, I see. Full yeah. service. Yeah. So uh, tonight, what are we gonna hear tonight? Like very, like new songs or one of your famous, like more of famous uh, old songs? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hear many different songs tonight from some of my old records and some of the new stuff. But like I said, because the hall is very uh, quiet, I think we're gonna do acoustic music. Right. And uh, and that's gonna be nice because we we usually do a mixture of uh, electric music. And acoustic music, but tonight we're going to do acoustic music. I think maybe we'll do one electric piece if they bang. Right, <laughs> I, I, I think they will. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. But there are fans. I was talking outside with a few people about mm -hmm. uh, this event and about you, and they said they did follow you since 1974 already. Yeah. When you were in this area playing yeah. with Chick Corea yeah. and everybody yeah. else, yeah. 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 forever. So there are really fans of yours mm -hmm. coming all over and coming back to see you Very after nice. so many years, yeah. which is really 
Sweet. It's always a nice thing, you know. It's, uh, sometimes for musicians, you know, you travel and you go through life. You're not. I'm not so much aware of of uh, what fans think. You know, I know they appreciate us. They come to, to see us right. play, but you don't know what's really in their heads. You know, what yeah. records they like, what songs. Right. So it's kind of you just go on the stage and you present your music. And, <laughs> But they are always all over you, so we should yeah. not have to worry about it after so many years. How so, tell us a little bit about your uh, private life recently, what, what's going on there, so we get to know the private, private uh, Stanley. Okay. Okay. Well, I live in a city called Topanga, which is like a mountain town, uh, kind of outside of the main city of Los Angeles, you know, it's like in this San Bernardino Mountains. And it's kind of, actually, looks a little bit like uh, like you're in the south of France a little bit. It's this weird area called Topanga. It's just, you would never think you were in Los Angeles. Right. It's all green and kind of. Uh -huh. and so I've been living there about 20 something years now. And with my wife, Sophia, and, and the, all the kids have grown up and left. They're all, you know, my, my son, Frank, is, he's a filmmaker. He okay. makes films and he plays drums. And, uh, and what he's actually doing now is he, he, I think he either got his degree or he's very close to getting his degree for teaching kids. Oh. He wants to be a teacher. Wow. And then my daughter, uh, Natasha, she's a jazz singer. And she tours, travels, makes her own videos, you know, records. She has a new one coming out. And then I think she's working on a new record. She's a real busy girl. Yeah. So they're following basically a little yeah, bit in your yeah. footsteps yeah. too. And my oldest son, he's an actor. Oh. And uh, he's <laughs> he's the one, uh, you know, real handsome guy, you know, tries to look like me. Like the father, <laughs> which is the truth. <laughs> I saw pictures of him. Actually. Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, so yeah. He's, he's in a new movie. They made a movie about the rapper Tupac Shakur. And so he's, he has a... Uh, a nice role in that movie, okay. so so he's he's that movie's coming out at the end of the year. So he's very happy about that. He had some work, and he writes music too as well. So okay. so well, that's that's not surprising being born yeah. in such a family. Yeah, and 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 Sophia, my wife, she's uh she's from Chile, and uh, she's a beautiful lady and and very kind person and kind of keeps everything together. Yeah, I'm so happy to to see you again after so many yeah. years and we kept our contact. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you still doing some stuff with, with Ruslan or? I speak to Ruslan like probably once every two months. He okay. sends me a line, you know, a little note or a text message or an email or something. I think he finished a new album mm -hmm. and I think it's coming out pretty soon. He, I played on it and many other people played on it. Something like this, yes. Yeah, it's very nice, beautiful right. album. And he's very happy about it. Yeah, well, I follow, follow him too a lot. So I yeah, see his yeah. updates and his, stuff and his yeah. parents are doing and stuff. Yeah. It's really nice to be in contact all the time. And I hope next time I have the opportunity to see you in New York or maybe in Los Angeles. Yeah, This would yeah. be amazing if you yeah. can work something like this out. Yeah, yeah, you, you just... Uh, Send me a message when you're in uh, Los Angeles. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Thanks okay. for the interview. All right. And good luck for your show tonight. Okay. Good Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you. That, that was a George Duke tune called Brazilian Love Affair. I'd like to introduce you to band members um, here from the country of Georgia. He is 20 years old, and his name is Becca Gotiashvili. Thanks.
show me. This guy is even older than me. He's from the very dangerous streets of Los Angeles. Look at him. Can't you tell? He's 30 years old, and his name is Cameron Graves. Please. Thank you so much. So these are the new jazz musicians coming up. It's the new guys. Yeah, sweet. Nice. So, I am Louis Armstrong. <laughs>